Hey, hey, Aspen Mount peeps. Happy Thursday to you. Coming on today, got a great question that I've been asked that I want to get you the answer for. The question is this. What's better, the electric water heater, a gas, natural gas water heater, or a tankless water heater? I'm going to get into that here shortly. We'll go through the differences. We'll give pros and cons, efficiencies, all the different stuff from your professional to you. First of all, if you're watching this on Facebook, type in live. If you're watching this live, type in replay if you're watching this on replay. And if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to make comments. I forgot to turn off the notifications again. I apologize for that. But we've got a good one for you today. First of all, I want to thank all those who have given us reviews that have done business with us. We got a five-star review yesterday on a house that was a struggle for us to get through because of some issues that came up that were unforeseen. We took care of the problems, didn't charge the customer anymore because we do that upfront pricing and was able to take care of her. She left us a five-star review. I sent it on our Facebook page because it was just a great review. She said right there for herself that she found us by reading our reviews. So if you've done plumbing with us or you've had some type of plumbing done by us, give us a review. Let us know what you feel. It helps me to kind of see where we're at too as far as measurements on what my customers say thinking about us and how, how they're reacting to us in our work. Okay, so what's is tankless, is electric, is natural gas. What's better as far as a water heater for you? And I broke it down into like five different categories, okay? The very first one is I figured out what the the average cost, I apologize, I'm looking down at my notes because I wrote <laughs> figured out the cost per month for each water heater on average on electric you're paid about $42 a month on gas you're paying about $30 a month and on a tankless you're paying about $50 on average a month so those are some big changes there um crazy how that all works I'm gonna see if I can turn this down if that'll get rid of my notifications um but that definitely is a huge increase from electric and gas and tankless so those will give you kind of an idea the next thing i looked at was the efficiency of each um your standard electric water heater is about 93 percent efficient okay um as far as the natural gas you're about 0.58 to 66 percent um, and on tankless, you're 97 to 98%, depending on the, the brand. And, and obviously this is all based on the temperature of your water coming in, um, and the amount of use that you use on this water heater. Um, now the life, the life of each water heater. Now the tanked electric water heater can be anywhere from 10 to 15 and sometimes up to 20. A, f a gas, natural gas water heater, usually it's 10 to 15 years. You don't usually see it past the 15 years. Most water heater manufacturers put on a six-year warranty. And the reason is because right around six years, those things can start to fail if there's not being properly flushed or properly taken care of. Now, if you, you want to learn how to flush your water heater and maintain your water heater, I do have a video on that on YouTube. Um, go check it out. It, it'll show you how to flush the water heater. I also have one on how to flush a tankless water heater. Um, a tankless water heater's life expectancy is anywhere from 15 to 30 years. It's almost double. It, in fact, it is double on a regular water heater if it's up to 30 years, you know, especially if the max is 15 years on a water heater. So that is really incredible on the lives. Now, I, I wrote down pros and cons on each. Now, the pros on electric is you don't need gas which means you don't need venting so you don't have to make space of it um, it's reasonable for the cost up front initially and I'm just getting noises everywhere today <laughs> um, and it uh, it's a little bit more efficient than a regular water heater regular gas water heater I should say now the pros on a natural gas water heater is regular tank style is you got faster recovery than you do on electric um you can't be it can't it can be cheaper um than both electric and uh tankless um the cost of your gas can be cheaper than the cost of your electric um as far as the tankless um 
it cuts a lot of costs and it works without power outage, whereas the electric won't. Now your pros on a tankless, you have fast recovery, you have endless hot water, you have longer life, um, it's very energy efficient, it's space saving, you have Wi-Fi capabilities on, on almost all models out there, um, and you have a stainless steel heat exchanger instead of a, a, a cast iron like we, we have in the tanks. Now there is one electric tank water heater out there, Rheem makes it, it's called the Marathon, that's a plastic tank. Um, so obviously that is going to last a lot longer. Um, but that being said, it's plastic, so it could crack a lot easier as well. Um, they do have a limited lifetime warranty on those marathons though. Now the warranty on, on the uh, tankless is incredible. They have a 15 year warranty on their heat exchanger, whereas all your water heaters on the tank itself will have a six year warranty. So you're almost double, you're double and a half. Um, warranty on tankless than you do on your like your regular tank water heaters. Now, what's the cons of each? Okay, uh, the cons of electric is first of all they're more expensive um, to purchase than a, a natural gas. They're also more expensive as far as power usage. Um, power is more expensive than gas is. Um, if the power goes out, you ain't got hot water. Um, they're usually insulated a little bit better than gas, but in most situations I've learned that electric doesn't heat as well, so your recovery time is really slow. Um, and the life of, of the tank, obviously, you know, is based on how well you maintain it. Um, elements, all sorts of different things can go into it. Cons for a regular gas water heater. Um, it burns gas constantly, so you're constantly burning gas, so it's not very good as far as energy efficiency. Um, and it's heating the water when you're not even using it, um, which is something I like the tankless about. Um, you always have venting. Um, it's got a shorter life. And the efficiency is just as not as efficient as you would have on a tankless water heater. Now, what's the cons on a tankless? They're more expensive for the initial install. Now, that being said, at $15 a month compared to $42 a month or $30 a month, you're going to save a lot more money in the long run with these things, um, but you're going to pay more out front. Also, the gas needs need to be different. So your pressures on your gases have to be checked to make sure that you can actually run it. And that's a calculation done based on BTUs used in the home. Um, whereas a, a natural gas water heater, it needs less than 50,000 BTUs. Um, so you're usually pretty good right there. Um, it runs on power and gas. Um, it, the power controls the, the motor and the fan, and then it has gas. So if you do have a power outage, um, it'll turn on, <laughs> but it won't, it won't stay on. It'll, it'll air saying that there's no power. Um, and then it, you know, it slows water speed down. So you have a certain pressure coming in and in order for the tankless water heater to keep up with that pressure, that pressure or keep up that heating the water, it slows the pr pressure coming through the water down a little bit. So not enough to really affect it, uh, affect it to where you notice it at the faucets, but it does slow it down, um, which means you're getting a slower pressure through than you do through a tank or a tanked water, a tanked electric or a tank gas water heater. Man, I'm fumbling through my words today. But I did that research. I sat down in this morning and I was just like comparing notes and stuff. And to me, out of all of them, obviously, I love the tankless water heaters. I think they're more, most energy efficient. You're going to find you're going to get a 15-year a warranty, and they have a 15 to 30-year life. Um, at $15 an hour or $15 a month, that's a lot cheaper than buying a gas water heater, which is a month, and $42 that it spends uh, a, a month in electric. So, I mean, in the long run, you're going to save money. I really like the, the Wi-Fi features. I like the uh, fact that I have endless hot water. I don't have to worry about running out of that 50 gallons. I don't have to worry about the recovery rate because it's constant as long as I've got that faucet open. Um, I love the space saving. It clears up so much floor space. It's not even funny. Um, I am a big fan of tankless water heaters. As a plumber, I would recommend it. It's the greener, most efficient way to go. Yeah, you're burning a little bit of power, but you're also using less gas. So between the two, you're, you're saving money. 
um, the power you're using is way less than the power you'd be using on an electric water heater. Now, if these are maintained, tank, tanked water heaters, if they're maintained right, they can last a long time. I, I took out a, nat, a natural gas, or uh, I guess it was a propane water heater that had been flushed every year, every winter it was, or every, I guess it was every fall, it was flushed out on a regular basis. And I pulled it out in 2017 and or 2018 I guess it was now 2018 and it was a 1979 water heater so I mean if you regularly maintain your water heaters they will last longer um the nice thing about the tankless though is you can set a program on it to where it'll tell you you need to maintain it and it'll it'll it won't stop it from working but it'll send an error code saying you need to clean this this system Definitely recommend tankless water here for my professional opinion. It'll save you money in the long run. Yeah, you have a lot more initial costs, but in the long run, you're going to be saving a ton of money. Now, not every home can take in a tankless water heater. So the key is, is you need to make sure that the gas pressures are right. And we need to make sure that, you know, you're, you're set up and ready to do this with the tankless to, before we can actually do it. Now, that being said, we can give you options on energy efficiency as far as electric. They've just come out with a new hybrid. Um, it uses it, the atmospheric room temperature, the ambient room temperature to heat the water. So it's a little bit more energy efficient, um, but you also have a little bit more cost as well with that. It costs a little bit more to put that in. So that's just some, some thoughts from some research I did. If you're looking at new doing a new water heater, this is a great way to learn about it. Um, efficiency is a key to me. I'm looking to see how efficient the, it's burning because I want to be able to use every source of natural gas or power, whatever I'm using, to heat that water. I want it to... I'm tired of these notifications. i got to turn these off. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Hopefully this gave you some great information. I'll catch you tomorrow.